Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today is Resurrection Day, aka Easter. So happy Easter if you celebrate. I kind of got a little tongue tied there, but today I'm going to head out with the family for dinner. We spent the majority of the day together as a family in the house. We did the Easter egg hunt in the backyard, open Easter baskets, and just have hung out majority of the day. But I did want to go ahead and take a time out for myself just for a minute to do my hair before we go out to dinner. And this was the option that I chose. This what comes courtesy of West Kiss. I did go ahead and install her for you guys here on camera. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the install. Be sure you to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll find a link to this wig in the description box. Look how big and beautiful it is. And it goes with my boho chic vibe. So yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, ladies, jumping right into it. This is my wig straight out of the sink. I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned her for you guys and this is the look at the inside construction of the cap now this one is a 13 by 4 lace front wig and it does include an elastic band it's a free part so you can part it literally anywhere you want from ear to ear with no restrictions this is a close-up look at the hairline i did opt for a size small cap um it's also 250 percent density and did i say it's 16 inches in length i feel like i did but then i feel like i didn't so now we know I'm going to go ahead and pull the um, hair back and we're going to begin the install process. You guys know step one for me is almost always just cut off the excess lace around the ears. It does cover on top of the ears so you definitely will know that that's just not something that needs to stay. Now I'm going in and bonding it down. I am using that even product. I love the yellow one. Um, I'll have it in the description box but I did apply it generously from ear to ear along the entire hairline. And then I added my melt belt so that it can just naturally dry and set on its own and this is going to bond the wig down while it dries i'm going to go ahead and take this whole blends product this is the green jar and i get this from target it's very affordable um it's i believe considered a leave-in conditioner i don't think it's a rinse out conditioner it's nice and hydrating especially to like your um extensions i applied a generous amount the hair was already damp from washing and conditioning so I did not need to add any more water and that's the great thing about it is you guys know that whenever I apply a wig and it's straight out of the box I have to apply tons of water to get it where I need it. Now here I am I went ahead and blow dried the hair a little bit more to make sure it was dry. We removed the elastic band and now I'm going to pin the hair back again and use an eyebrow razor to cut off the excess lace. Now the eyebrow razor gives a more jagged get cut which is more preferable um the wig and the lace hairline you can see it like if you look at the, look at me now you can see that hairline but the more jagged um and imperfect it is once it's bonded down and melted it makes it a little bit more camo like a jagged hairline is like camouflage in a way where it will help to make it melt and blend a lot more to help the hairline to melt as well, I went ahead with a little bit more of that even product and bonded it down a little bit more just to make sure it was nice and flawless. Now I'm going in with a Kabuki brush and my foundation powder of choice. I believe this is Ruby Kisses and I buffed it in generously and added a little bit of shapers on top just to get rid of that powdery cast. And this is what we look like as a install with no baby hair. Here I am going in with that Too Faced Concealer and I'm just adding a generous amount. Uh, while we are in the VIB cell, I need to go in and get this maybe like two shades darker to see if I can get it a little bit more natural because this is my natural shade and as you guys can see, it does uh, pop and it is a little bit more bright than I would like. Here I am just touching up the hairline. I'm just going in with the electric hot comb and making sure it's nice and neat and straight and it looks like it's growing out of the scalp as well as like around the entire perimeter. I like mine to be on flat flat no matter what the style is. So here is the packaging here from West Kiss. This is their OG packaging and I love that because it's so nostalgic. Here is what the inside of the packaging looks like. They did include this um, baby hair brush, these lashes. They included a melt belt as well as a pack of wig caps. And then they also added this dust bag, which you can close up really nicely and store your wigs. And this is the wig itself. Here I am just making sure I like it. And I did decide to go in and add baby hair. Now, if you rewind or even here, you can see that little bit of a highlighted cast along the hairline. Um, no matter how dark I went with the powder, it just kind of like gave this cast. And it's all about um, 
like how I bonded it down if you will um so i'm gonna go ahead and add the baby hair just to go ahead and make sure that like in my pictures you don't see that you guys seen the product that i used was a foundation powder um as far as the lace tint and the hairline goes that one is like um considered a foundation that is my shade or like you know like my act actual true shade um i should have just went ahead and used the normal one that i use which is like two shades darker and that would have worked a lot better but here we are and i love 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 how the baby hair came out now you don't have that white cast and you can't find where the lace started can you it's absolutely gorgeous i love how it came out i kind of shizzed it up so it gave it more of a bigger look and it came out super bomb Okay, ladies, so we are done with this look. I went ahead and gave it a moment to kind of fluff up and um, dry. Now, I did kind of like go upside down and kind of just zhuzh it like this because I wanted it to be big. I'm going with this nice little open. It's like a card. I don't know if you would consider it a cardigan. Maybe a kimono is probably the the better term but um this kimono from anthropology i think i got it like last summer and i actually never wore it i think i got it towards the end of the summer and just never pulled it pulled for it so i'm definitely going to be pulling for it this summer and spring it's a beautiful print today happens to actually be easter and the girls are in floral so i figured i would match their energy and go a little bit floral just with a white tank i think this is like from express right now i have on some denim shorts but it is 6 57 and we're about to go to dinner so i think i'm going to just transition into some leggings keep it simple we're not going anywhere fancy um and i'm planning on eating a lot so i think the best thing to do is keep the exact same outfit on the exact same vibe but just on some black naked wardrobe leggings um and i'm good to go so the hair is definitely fitting for the vibe i'm gonna change to a pink bag and be a little bit more festive that's the thing about me lately i just whatever bag i have is just it i'm just not the girl who changes her bags with her outfits the way i once was and i know that like as my kids get older and they get more independent with like getting themselves stressed and you know all of that like that part of it or that part of like me getting ready will come back but for now it's just easier to keep like the basic jewelry the basic bag and then just transition or switch everything when I feel tired but just not per outfit if you will but I do love the hair I think it's fitting for the day I'm gonna have many of options of what hair I wanted to install for Easter and this definitely was the one for me now I've been working with West Kiss for many many years and so I just already know the quality of their hair and how beautiful it is so I knew that this was one that I was going to want to take to the sink and wash and condition before installing because I wanted this look here and I wanted to make sure I got the best um quality of curls by again washing and conditioning it first you always will get a lot better of a quality you guys seen i added the conditioner and i did use something that um i use many a times on this channel but i used it because i'm out of the nairobi you can see i'm completely out this is my go-to when i reach for every single time i have curly wavy or any kind of like textured hair um but I'm kind of happy that I'm out of that because I need to start using other things. I'm going to go and haul a few things that I do like from like Target this week and kind of start just using something different with each curly look because there are so many great things on the market and mousse is just not the end all be all. This is one that's very simple. Again, washing and, washing and conditioning at least the ends of the hair over the sink um, is definitely a key to getting the best curl. Once you do that, as you guys seen, I did not really have to use much water at all. I may have sprayed a little bit on the ends because the ends just tend to be a little bit naturally more dry with every type of hair. Um, and then I just applied a generous amount of this and worked it in. Also, I do want to say that I did try to go for a no baby hair look for this one. But where I made a mistake is I went in big with the... Um, spray the adhesive and spraying it down i just had freshly did my makeup and i kind of messed up my hairline because i just was a little bit too messy with that product which is sometimes why i don't like doing the bonding it down before cutting the lace because if my makeup is already done um it'll mess up my makeup which mess up messes up the perfection of it all when i do that step first i prefer to do it when i don't have any makeup that way it's easy to clean it off with water or an alcohol and it's good to go but when i have makeup on it just kind of like messes up how smooth and perfect my makeup is nonetheless i did buff in my usual go-to foundation that i typically use and it just felt like it had a cast and so i went ahead at the very last minute and just added a little baby here because it just felt like um 
I'm trying to take some Easter pictures. I was going to see that cast and it was going to just bother me. I may go in one more time and just buff a little something there because I don't want it to be light or highlighted. Sometimes when it's highlighted, you just add a little bit of um, a holding spray like my Shapers and it'll definitely like set it to where it'll look much better. Nonetheless, the hair, the lace, everything about this one is absolutely beautiful. I do have a direct link to this wig in the description box as well as lists and links of everything we use to complete this look, including this here, which is super affordable. Smells good. It's just a really simple leave-in conditioner. And as you guys can see, it works very well on the curls on this wig and it also works really good on my my girl's natural hair um as a leave-in just to add a little moisture before we go in and like style it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed your resurrection day if you celebrated and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches